Is anyone else out there like me and just feel an overwhelming sense of calm after I've decluttered something in my house? Just me, anyone? Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you the top 10 areas in my house I'm decluttering this spring. If you watched one of my previous videos where I shared the top areas that I tackle for spring cleaning every single year, in this week's video, I'm gonna be going through the top 10 areas in my house that I'm gonna be decluttering. And no, I'm not talking about Marie Kondoing these areas. I'm talking about just doing a regular decluttering, a regular analysis of the items and sorting through and donating or trashing anything that I really no longer need. Stick around until the end where I'm gonna actually share a great bonus tip with you, a way that you can help keep your house clutter free on the regular basis. You know, I'm filming this video during a national quarantine at the moment. Here in New Jersey, we have been ordered to stay at home by our governor and that is happening all over the country. So what I'm finding as I'm staying at home and working from home is that I actually have a lot more time on my hands to get stuff crossed off of my to-do list. As I'm working through this to-do list, a lot of it is my yearly spring cleaning. So I decided to make a list of the top 10 areas that I'm gonna be focusing on for my decluttering in my house right now in the hopes that it helps some of you out there create a checklist for yourself. Number one the dreaded drunk drawer. Now we have one of these in our kitchen, but ironically it, it spilled out into several drawers. So while I'm calling this the junk drawer declutter, I'm also going to be just doing a once over on all the drawers in our kitchen. You see, a lot of times when I have random things on the counter, I just throw it into that drawer. And if I don't look at it and go through it and declutter it at least once a year, it's going to overflow and then we're never gonna be able to find anything in it. And honestly, half the stuff I throw in there, I should really just not even open the drawer and go right below it and just throw it in the trash. Am I right? So definitely wanna go through your junk drawer. Number two, your medicine cabinet. Now, I believe I had talked about this in a previous video, getting ready for fall and winter, making sure that you went through your medicine and got rid of anything that was expired. I'm gonna advise you do the same thing now because a lot of times when you go through it in the fall and winter, you might hang on to one or two medicines that are kind of near the expiration, maybe that night quill that you're gonna hang on to because you're pretty sure you're gonna get a cold this winter. So you hang on to it. Well, now's the time to get rid of it. If it is expired, get rid of it now and clean out your medicine cabinet so you're not carrying over medicine that you shouldn't be taking. So toss it. Number three, your pantry and your fridge. Now I always advise every few months that you go through your refrigerator and your pantry, you get rid of anything that's expired and you cook anything that's close to expiring, but especially right now. Right now, when we're at a stay-at-home order, we're being quarantined, you're probably cooking a lot more than you normally do. You wanna make the least amount of trips to the grocery store as possible. So it might be a fun idea to go through your refrigerator and go through your pantry and see what food you actually have. And you can almost make a game out of it. Pick a few random ingredients and see what you can come up with. And certainly if anything is close to expiring, make sure you cook and eat it now because nobody wants to be throwing food away. You would be surprised how many meals you could probably make right now with the food you already have in your house. Number four, your closet. Yes, I'm going to talk about your closet again. Be real with yourself. Take a long, hard look in your closet. Do you have winter clothes still in your closet that you not only haven't worn this year, but you also haven't worn for the past three or four winters? get rid of it, donate it if it's still in good condition, don't keep it, there's no point. And don't forget your dresser drawers when you're doing this and your shoes especially. This was a hard reality for me. I realized like most women that my shoe size is now different after giving birth to my daughter. And when I went through my shoe closet the last time, I actually had to donate quite a few pairs of shoes. It made me sad, but I realized it was necessary. And now I have a very clean and organized shoe closet and I know where everything is. So get rid of it, stop hanging on to it. Now is the perfect time to declutter that closet. Don't forget your spouse and your children's closets too. Number five, kids toys. Sort through your kids toys and be realistic about what they actually play with and what they no longer need. Depending on how old they are, get them involved in the process. It could be a fun game for them as well. Sort, trash, and donate whatever you can and whatever your child is no longer using. It's also a great time as you're sorting through to piece together different games and toys that might be all over the place. 
You also wanna give everything a nice wipe down, especially now that all the winter germs are gone. You wanna clean everything up, give it a nice wipe down, and some toys can actually be cleaned in the dishwasher too. So consider doing whatever is the most convenient for you. Number six, the linen closet. When I mentioned closets earlier, I was talking specifically about your clothes closet. However, one of the closets that I find goes a little bit unnoticed is your linen closet. Are you hanging on to an old set of sheets? Doesn't even fit any of the beds that you have anymore. Or what about those towels that keep getting ragged so you're putting them aside as cleaning towels, but you never actually clean with them? Or like I do in my case, the designated pet towels that I now have a stack of probably two dozen pet towels. And I only have two dogs. How many towels do I really need? So go through your linen closet, declutter, get rid of the raggy towels you don't use anymore, get rid of the sheets you no longer use anymore, we all have them, and get everything nice and clean and organized. There's nothing like grabbing a fresh clean towel or putting a set of fresh sheets on your bed. And if you declutter your linen closet, it's gonna make doing that a lot easier. Number seven. Papers. What do I mean by papers? I mean the pile of mail and bills that you have somewhere in your house. It might be on a desk, it might be on a table, it might be in a basket. In our house, it's a basket attached to the wall. Wherever you collect all of the papers for your house, go there and declutter all of it. Chances are a ton of it's gonna be expired coupons that you don't need to hang on to anymore, advertisements and junk mail. So a lot of it's just gonna go in the trash. But you might also find a bill that you maybe needs to get paid or important information regarding maybe a retirement account or something to do with your house. So go through all of that dreaded pile of paperwork that we all ignore and declutter it and get rid of it. Number eight, hobbies, games, books, movies, whatever kept you occupied during the fall and winter months, clean it up declutter it and get it organized. If you have a specific hobby, maybe putting together puzzles or doing arts and crafts, or if you read a lot of books in the winter time or watch a lot of movies and you still actually have DVDs. I don't think I know anybody that does that anymore. Or maybe getting your board games, get it all cleaned up and organized and put it away. Cause chances are as the weather gets really nice, you're gonna be outside taking advantage of activities in the outdoors. And a lot of those indoor hobbies are gonna fall by the wayside. So you wanna make sure you get them all cleaned up and organized and ready to go for the next fall and winter. Number nine, your purse and your makeup. Now this one is mostly for all the ladies out there, although I do not make any judgments. If you're like me, your purse becomes your catch-all. It's with you all the time and everything and anything ends up inside of that purse. And who really has the time to sort through it? Usually my purse only gets cleaned out when I'm digging around trying to find something and half of it ends up in the trash can. So take some time to go through your purse. If you use one main purse, clean that out. And if you switch bags from let's say a winter purse to a summer purse, make sure when you're storing your winter purse that you don't store it with a bunch of junk in it. You know, I pulled out a purse from the closet recently and I don't think I had used the purse in probably about four years and there was a granola bar inside. Make sure everything when it's getting put away is cleaned out. And one thing a lot of us are guilty of is hanging on to old makeup. That is not good for your skin. So now go through and declutter all of your makeup. Throw away that eyeshadow you haven't used in four years that you're hanging on to for one random night out with the girls because you're never gonna use it. And really you shouldn't be putting it on your eyes anymore because it's old get rid of it, get it cleaned out, take stock and inventory of the makeup you do have. And if you need to replenish anything, do that now. Number 10, back up all the photos on your phone. And some of you might be saying, well, Sam, my photos automatically back up onto the cloud. And that's great, but if they don't, you wanna make sure you back them up now. And regardless of whether they back up automatically or you're doing it manually, now's also a really good time to consider whether or not you're gonna be making a scrapbook or a photo book with these photos. We take more photos in our lives now than ever before. And we wanna be able to enjoy them as well. So whether that's making physical scrapbook pages, like my amazing friend, Laura, thank you, by the way, for those all the time, 
Or if you're gonna do an online photo book through a site like Shutterfly, make sure you go ahead and do that now before you get too backlog of years and years and years like I am now. I think I have 10 years worth of photos I am trying to sort through and put into photo books. If you do it at least once a year, it takes a lot of that burden off and you now have great scrapbooks or photo books that you can enjoy for years to come. Here's a bonus tip for you. If you wanna keep your house clutter-free on a regular basis, get a basket or a bin and keep it in a central location in your house. If you have stairs like us, we keep it at the bottom of our stairs. And then as I go throughout my day, when I have something that I'm finished using that maybe needs to make its way upstairs, but I don't have time to go all the way up there, I'll throw it into the basket. This has been a game changer for us. Once the basket gets full, I just pick it up, I sort through it, and I put everything away inside, and it goes right back empty where it is and starts all over again. It really helps keep the house decluttered. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comment section below. Let me know in the comment section below what areas of your home you plan on decluttering this spring. And I'll see you next week.